Okay. Hey, everybody. <laughs> we didn't do a countdown. We usually do a big old countdown. <laughs> but it is tonight is what's in the in bag. The bag. Where's my bag? What's in the bag? <laughs> and so, believe it or not, Sayla and I are going to finish up these supplements. We have been on them for <laughs> what's been, three, three, four weeks. And so, um, we are going to finish them up tonight and we're excited to talk to you about them. And there's some of our, there's some really fun products. Some of them are newer supplements that just came out this year. Some of them are special edition. So you have to kind of get them while you can get them. All right. But some of them are in our regular line. And so we are just going to start out instead of pulling them all out. We're going to go one by one and we're going to start with Sayla and she is going to do our Meissler water. So she's going to do that. I'm going to just uh, leave the screen Sayla so they can see you a little bit better. Okay. Hey, everybody. Listen, I am so excited about sharing this product with you. I'll be honest, it is a newer product. And when it came out, I thought, seriously, um, is this really going to do all that they say? But I love it. This is my personal bottle. I have used several bottles and you can see that I've already used this much out of this bottle. Um, it, what Meister Water does is it's a gentle, effective water that is made up of purified water and a low concentration of mild surfactants. The surfactants group together to form tiny spheres called micelles. Micelles love impurities and act, and act like magnets to attract the buildup of the day or night time, all that's built up on your skin away from the skin. Um, you, what you do is you take the micellar water and you put it on a cotton pad or cotton ball. It's very gentle and um, yet effective, no rinsing, um, and it helps break down the face makeup. And really what I like to tell people, it is like, you know, when you get ready to mop your kitchen floor, typically you don't just go in and mop it. You sweep the floor first and then you mop. And that the micellar water is to your face what sweeping is to your floor. You um, put it on a cotton ball, you wipe all the makeup, and it's not for the eye area. Cleta's gonna talk to you about something for the eye area, but all around the face, it gets all the dirt, all the grime. It, um, it is amazing. I use it every single night before I cleanse my face. Once I do the micellar water, then I cleanse my face with my cleanser. Um, it is $18 and it is amazing. You can put it in your gym bag. You can use it twice a day. Your kids can use it at school um, or you can use it, um, you know, keep one at your sink, one in your gym bag. It is an awesome, awesome product. Going back. Okay. Thank you, Sayla. <laughs> People love it. It's funny when it came out, I was like, Sayla, I'd never even, I'm like, my cellar? Yeah, that's the Southern way. I'm like, my cellar water? And people, like my Northern friends were making fun of me. I'm like, look, I've never heard of it before. Anyway, so, but I've, I've been surprised, Sayla, as the girls that have bought it from me, they have reordered it. So that's when yeah. you know Mary Kay found a winner is when they actually not buy it. One time, they keep buying it. So anyway, right. you guys be sure to comment. Oh, got a bunch of comments over here. Let, how about me pay attention to everybody that commented? So hey, let's give a little shout outs to Melanie, Tian, um, Diana. Let's see who else is on here. Um, and all kind of comments on there. Yeah, Tian, you're going to really like it. She said she's never used it. She's interested in it. And yes, it does work well to clean the makeup brushes. Sayla, did you mention that? I don't think you yeah, did. did. But that foundation brush, we have a brush cleaner, but if you put a little bit of that, it just dissolves the makeup right off your foundation brush and it cleans it super fast. So, okay. Sounds awesome. All right. So the next and say, well, I'll just move you so you can do whatever you need to do. Um, the next thing that we're going to talk about is I'm going to talk about the pink clay mask. Okay. So this is the pink clay mask and this is a special edition. It's not in the new books. So, but we still can order them. So you guys, if you've not tried the pink clay mask, it's only 18, it's special edition, which means it comes out for more than one quarter, maybe two quarters, maybe three. 
And sometimes Mary Kay brings it back like permanent if it's really, really good. So let me tell you a little bit about it because y'all know we have some other masks like our charcoal mask. And some people might think, well, what's the difference in the pink clay mask and the charcoal mask? So I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. So here's a little um, commercial on it. It says reset and de-stress with some floral induced me time. Superstar ingredients Plumera extract is known to have antioxidant properties which help promote against free radicals on your skin. Now you can remove the day away in a perfectly pink way with this mineral rich clay that leaves you with a natural glow. Truly makes the moment your own as you take in dreamy notes of um, peony and tea blossom. Steal time for yourself and allow the luxe creaminess of this mask to cleanse and renew your skin with de and delight your senses. So this is for dry, too oily skin. All skin types can use it. It is dermatologist tested. It is tested for skin irritancy and allergy. Um, it is not comedogenic, which means it will not clog your pores. And so the application tips, really you just need to make sure your skin is clean first, and then you just smooth it on your skin with your fingers. Or we do have a, a really nice mask applicator. It's a silicone applicator that just gets it on really super, um, you know, super smooth and easy. And you just put it on and let it dry for 10 minutes. And you'll see it'll start out just like, kind of like the charcoal mask. It'll start out shiny, but then it ends up. You can see that it is, um, okay, someone said the video is frozen, but now I think it's working again. Okay, y'all give me a thumbs up if the video is working. Um, but once it dries, you can kind of see that it's dry, but about 10 minutes. And then you just take a washcloth and just wipe it right off. And your skin just feels so smooth. So this is not one. You know, the charcoal mask gets in there and the charcoal gets in your pores and pulls out things out of your pores. This is not for that. This is for smoothing your skin and um, giving you that little natural glow. So try it. You'll like it. I know people that have tried it absolutely love it. So the pink clay mask, while supplies last, okay, um, and it's only 18. Okay. So say hello. Let's go with the... Um, Let's go with the finishing spray and I'm going to run and actually get a little cotton pad so that I can demonstrate this eye makeup remover. Okay. Okay. Okay, everybody. Um, if you have a product that promised these results, 94% said it keeps makeup looking freshly applied for hours and feels completely breathable. 92% of the people that tried it said it helps avoid makeup meltdown. 90% said it gives more confidence in your makeup. 86% said it makes skin look smoother. And 80% said it keeps the makeup out of fine lines. Would you want the product? Yes, yes, you would. It is our makeup finishing spray. And this is it. And it is an awesome, awesome product. It... Um, Feels completely breathable and works on any skin type. So dry, normal, combination to oily. It washes off as easily as it, as it applies. It keeps your makeup looking fresh for hours and dries really quickly and does not feel sticky. And when it came out, um, we were, the direction said that you apply your makeup and then you do a couple of squirts on top of your makeup. But since it has been out for a while, um, we have found that if you will put on um, all of your supplements and then your foundation and then spray your face and then do the rest, apply the rest of your makeup and apply it again, it is like double max power. It is an amazing product. A little bit goes a long way. So this bottle is going to last. Um, it on certain occasions. You know, you just really, let's say, really every day, but especially for weddings, if you have a big interview, if you're going somewhere special and you know you have to apply your makeup and you still want to look fresh hours later, this is the product for you. Only 20 for this bottle. And like I said, it will last for a while. And to get an extra, the benefit is to use it on twice on your face. Um, it is applied from the beginning to end for those times you need a secret weapon that keeps you looking um, 
like a celebrity for your pictures. And, um, you know, a lot of times you see the celebrities and you're like, what in the world? How do they stay looking so fresh? It's product like products like these and Mary Kay has them and they are it's a great product and at a great, great price. Um, I do know people that have sprayed it like in areas that they get hot, like where you kind of get sweaty. Um, it's Mary Kay does not endorse that, but I know people have used them used it in order to stay a little bit more fresh like in your arms or right here on your chest um, and it helps with that a lot too so it has multiple uses multiple uses to stay ultra fresh and um let's yeah so that's that for the finishing spray you can keep going. I just was coming back to say, hey. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. What we're going to do is let Sayla go ahead and tell another product that also helps as a finisher or during the day. Oh, okay. I forgot I was next. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Y'all, this, um, these are our beauty blotters, oil absorbing tissues. There's 75 in this little pack. And this is a girl's best friend. I promise you, these are powder free. They can help control the oil on the surface of your skin. It absorbs excessive moisture um, and it helps with the day's accumulation of oil. If you are oily, you understand that. Um, it eliminates the shine, leaves a soft matte finish and you want to press, never rub, um, so let's say you have your, you put on your foundation, you use the finishing spray, but you are living in South Georgia and because of the humidity, your face gets really shiny and oily. You can take one of these. This is like a tissue, but it's not. It's um, just a soft paper and you just press on your face. Well, let's see. I just did this a few minutes ago. I should have waited, but it absorbs, see that? It absorbs the oil on your face. You don't rub, so it doesn't disturb your makeup at all. And then you can apply your pressed powder or anything else that you want to put on your face. But these are awesome. They're 75 for only $8. And you want, I keep a pack in my purse and in the console of my car. So I have it whenever I need it. Okay. Thank you, Sayla. I agree with every single thing she says. And uh, they are a girl's best friend, especially if you live in a hot, humid environment like we do. Right, Sayla? <laughs> okay. The next thing that we're going to talk about is one of Sayla and I are both of our favorites, and it is our eye makeup remover. And so, Sayla, I guess I'll just remove you real quick for it. Um, so, this is our eye makeup remover, and I want to show y'all. This is about halfway full, but do you see the line right here? So it looks like oil and water. And the deal is it's two ingredients. The top phase removes waterproof eye makeup. The bottom phase moves non-waterproof eye makeup. So for most effectiveness, you shake it up before you use it. You shake it up like this, and then you're just gonna put it on. And I put, I have actually two different types of eye makeup on, I mean, on today so you just put it on a cotton pad or a cotton ball either way and then you just lay it on your eyes like this and you want to give it just a few seconds because what it does the ingredients start breaking down the mascara your eye makeup remover and all of that and then it, if you leave it on there a second and just slightly you know move your cotton ball around just a little bit it'll just kind of dissolve everything and then you just simply take it and all of your mascara is right here. Isn't that lovely? So you just take it just like that. I'm going to take my eyebrow off too. Might as well, right? And so before I, look at that. <laughs> Isn't that crazy looking? Before Mary Kay came out. I mean, Mary Kay has had this a while, but before I used Mary Kay, I used Vaseline. And I would just get Vaseline and I would just take off my eye makeup. And it was just, it would go all over my face. And I had contacts. So it was always a little bit of a problem, you know, because 
the the oil from the like the Vaseline petroleum jelly whatever brand you use would kind of get on my contacts and it would be a problem. So this is a oil free eye makeup remover and that's that's the key. So if you wear any kind of contacts and it it goes in your eye, it doesn't bother you. I mean like it's not like my eyes are stinging. It's I guess I'm not going to squirt it in my eye, but it doesn't hurt. So it's really good um, for taking off your eye makeup. But also like if you have a child that plays in your makeup accidentally, <laughs> instead of scrubbing her face, you know, you could take this eye makeup remover and it will gently remove it. A lot of people like Halloween coming up next month or in two months, you know, they just use this to take off that any kind of Halloween makeup on their little kids. So they're not killing their little kid's face. So, um, let me just say a little bit. It doesn't leave your skin feeling greasy. Um, it has a solvent in it, this dimethicone, and is a liquid capable of dissolving materials in a product. Water is one of the most common solvents. It also has a cleaning agent. It dissolves oil and tracks oil to assist in removal from the skin. These ingredients also may contribute to the foaming and lathering properties of the product. And then it has polo, polo eczemer, um, 184 and it is a cleaning agent that dissolves oil and trapped uh to assist in removal of the skin the products also may continue to the foaming and lathering properties the basic thing is y'all it works that's what you need to know and in ladies home journal it was voted number one of the best selling eye makeup removers so i am telling you this is one of my best sellers most of my clients they order two at a time because they do not want to be without it. And if you have trouble using it, just remember you have to leave it on there just for a few seconds to give the products time to dissolve it. So if you put it on there and just wipe and wipe it, I mean, you don't have to tug and pull. So just remember that, okay? Just remember to let it dissolve. All right, and so our Amica remover is only 18 and you're gonna love it. And then the last one that we're gonna talk about tonight is the Mary Kay Instant Puffiness Reducer. And I just wanted to take off my eye makeup and because I wanted you to be able to see how you use this. This is the instant puffiness reducer. This came out a few months ago. And um, the tagline is, it's not magic, it's science. It says, watch under our bags fade like magic, really like science, with our latest innovation. The instant puffiness reducer is clinically shown to instantly reduce the look of puffiness under the eyes. And the uh, effect lasts for up to six hours some even longer. In clinical studies, 96% of panelists showed an instant visible reduction in puffiness by nearly 27% after using it. And 96% of the, percent of the panelists also experienced these results. Instantly smooths the look of skin under the eye, temporarily delivers a more toned and lifted look. And it's also clinically shown to reduce the appearance of lines, wrinkles, and crepiness. It's a win-win. And you can use it in the morning or your evening routine, you want to avoid applying your eye cream at the same time, which is kind of different than what we normally do. So what you're going to do, and I'll tell you a little bit more, but you're going to normally wash your face first. And so, and then, so you want this area to be, have nothing under it. And then you take this product, unlike some things where more is better, <laughs> believe me, that it's trial and error, you, you know, sometimes you follow directions and sometimes you just do what you want to do. So it says a piece of rice. So how big is a piece of rice? All right, look at this. If y'all can see, that's how much it is. Just like a piece of rice. And then all you're going to do is you're going to take it and you're going to take it and you're going to pat it. Not rub. Pat, pat, pat underneath your eye where usually the little puffiness is okay then what you're going to do is you're going to stare at yourself and think about your great life for just a few minutes but at least three you're just going to look and try not to do a lot of expression which is hard for me to look at y'all and not do a lot of expression because you want your skin you'll start feeling the skin kind of tightening up a little bit right there and so you want your skin to just be relaxed and sit there for a second OK, and so I'm going to try to not move it too much. But after about 15 minutes, like after three minutes, you can go ahead and do the rest of your makeup. But after 15 minutes, you'll see the full results of it. And so it will start. Maybe it's better to look back here. 
it'll just start, the puffs will just start going down. And of course, if you, the bigger the puff, the more you'll be able to tell. Okay. So once you put it on and you let it dry for a few minutes, then you can go ahead and put on, for example, if you use the miracle set, you can go ahead and put on your day cream and put your primer on. And then when you get ready to put your foundation, this is important, or your eye cream, you're just going to take a like a smaller amount than you normally would. And you're going to pat it right on top of that. Once it's dry, you're just going to pat it on there. And then you can actually add a little bit of concealer as well. But less is going to be more. Because if you get it too wet under there, the product is going to try to absorb it because that's what it does. It kind of absorbs that liquid. So do you just kind of use a little bit less makeup under your eyes. And then make sure at night you definitely use your eye cream really well. Um, maybe use those eye patches, some different things to make sure you get that moisture around your eyes. But since you're not using it on the days that you use this. So if you use it every day, just want to make sure you do that eye cream at night. You know, or it may be that like, let's say maybe I had something to go to and I'm just going to do it right now because I want to make sure it's really looking good for an event. And so I might put my eye cream on during the day and then at night do what I just did, take off my makeup and then pat some on and then do my concealer and, and go. OK, so it just really helps visibly reduce the puffiness under your eye, which makes you look younger. That's what we want, right? So this Instant Puffiness Reducer, um, let me just tell you the ingredients. Um, it says it contains um, mica, a mineral which has light reflecting properties to help mattify the eye area with a soft focus. It has a combination of sodium silicate, clays, gums, and film formers to draw excess moisture from the eye area. These common cosmetic ingredients are blended to create this innovative, fast-acting formula to bring your eyes back to life. The seeing is just believing. And it does take a little bit of practice. So the first time you use it, you use too much, or if you rub, 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 not going to work the same. So you just have to kind of practice, 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 and don't give up. If you have it too much, you might see a power, a little powdery finish right here, okay? And if you do, you're just going to gently remove it with your fingertip or a cotton swab. And then you can put your foundation or your um, eye cream on. So that's basically it. And it is dermatologist tested, ophthalmologist tested, and tested for skin irritancy and allergy. And it is 35. So I'm going to bring Sayla back up here. And so we'll just go over these products because we are going to give you 10 percent off of these products anything that you purchase tonight from your beauty consultant so the first one is meisler water and that is 18. the second one is the mary Kay instant puffiness reducer which is 35. this will last you a long time when you only use a piece of rice right the next is i make it remover Sayla and our favorite <laughs> is 18. And then we got Sayla, the finishing spray, which is 20. The beauty blotters, which is eight. And then we covered the pink clay mask, which is 18. So you guys, that wraps up our skincare supplements. So here's what we wanted to let y'all know. You know, sometimes Sayla and I, you might think, what of all, you showed 45 supplements, <laughs> not that many, but what should we use? You know, what, how will we know? There is an app that you can download on your phone. And we have been talking to our consultants about this. And the app looks like, let me show it to you. It's the middle one right here. It says skin analyzer. And you can go to your app store and type in the word Mary Kay. And then you can find skin analyzer. And when you pull it up, you guys, it'll pull up like this and say, let's begin. And then you will click on it and then tell it if you are a male or a female. And then you'll tell your skin type. And then when you hit let's get started right here, it's going to bring this up. And then I'm going to look at it and it's going to take my picture. Okay. It took it. And then it's going to scan it. Now, normally you'd want to do this with your makeup off. Okay. But do you see what it does? It goes through here and it'll tell the texture, the um, uneven skin tones, it'll tell the uh, the eyes, the wrinkles, and then you can look on them and it taps for details and it'll actually show a picture 
of where like the uneven skin tone is, or it might show a picture of the texture of your skin. Isn't that neat? And it goes all the way through, all the way down to the wrinkles. And it points out your wrinkles as if you didn't know. <laughs> but the best thing about it is then you click on the bottom and it says your regimen. And so then it will show you, you guys, all of the products that would be recommended for you according to your skin. And the best part of it is this is free. So Sayla and I have been encouraging our consultants to do it to themselves. Customers, you guys can do it. And then when you finish, you just click this little thing that says share the results. And you can send the result to your beauty consultant or to yourself and to yourself. And you can order what you need. But the great thing about it is the um, it shows you in order of all the products in order of how to use it too. So like it starts out cleanser, special solutions, Moisture mask, peels, serums, eye cream. So I just wanted to show you that. So if you're watching it and you, you get a little confused of what should I use, get that skin analyzer app, try it, and then it'll tell you exactly what might be good for you. Sally, you got anything else to say about that? You really want to try it. I mean, I um, like I said before, I use a lot of product, but sometimes you think, is what I'm using what I need? And there were a couple on my list when I scanned my face this week that I had used before, but I had run out of and stopped using. And it was just glaring at me like the microdermabrasion refined for the texture of your skin. I said, Oh, let me go open one of those and put it in my shower. <laughs> right. Right. <Yeah. laughs> exactly. And you know, mine was like um, clinical solutions could be your best friend. You need to use, all of them. <laughs> so that's what it came up. And so I know I look a little crazy with one eye done and one eye not. But anyway, thank you guys all. There's so many people watching and I things. Let me just tell you that next week um, we are going to be talking about all of our primers, our eye primer, our lip primer, our foundation primer, and um, yeah. We don't sell the lash primer anymore. I do like it, though. So we're going to be talking about that. And then we will be moving into the brushes the following week. And then we're going to be doing color. So we have a lot of exciting things to come up on Tuesday nights at 8 o'clock. And so until next time, we'll see you in Sayla. What's in the bag? What's in the bag? <laughs> All right. Thanks, everybody. Bye.